This game is going to be extremely exciting. I know that uh, the opposing team's fans travel incredibly well. They have, I can only think back to last year whenever we had a packed house and it was just a game that um, I'm certainly never going to forget. Tight, intense till the end, and we're expecting nothing, nothing less than that same energy, same excitement this year. Anyone? Yes, I, I think we play uh, against one of the best team in Mexico. Uh, they have a really good player, quality player, uh, and, and we expect like difficult game. And also, we know we're playing home, but I think in here in Nashville and in USA, they have so many, so many American fans. No, I think we expect tomorrow so many people from Mexico support America in our home. And this is a difficult uh, place uh, for us tomorrow, but we know we need to, to try to stay focused and uh, be, be really concentrated in our job. Any questions here? Yes, Aníbal, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? De, de Oye, Aníbal, me imagino que conoces al América, ¿no? Eh, eres centroamericano, eh, sabes de, de, del fútbol mexicano. ¿Qué representa eh, para ti el, el jugar contra América y qué lugar le das al, al América en, a, a nivel de clubes en la CONCACAF? Sí, como lo dije ahorita hace un rato, creo que nos enfrentamos al, si no el mejor equipo de México, uno de los mejores. Eh, en todo, eh, estructuralmente, futbolísticamente, en título, creo que ha ganado muchas cosas. Entonces, es un partido muy, muy difícil para nosotros, eh, representa mucho. Sabemos que, que estamos nosotros yendo partido a partido y queremos tratar de conseguir eh, un puesto en, en la próxima Conca Champions. Entonces, yo creo que América para, para CONCACAF representa mucho dentro de, dentro de esta liga. ¿Puedo otra? No sé si sabes que hace unos día se lesionó Henry Martín, te tocó enfrentarlo hace poquito en, en Copa Oro, ¿crees que es una baja importante para América que, que les podría ayudar a ustedes que no esté el último goleador del fútbol mexicano? Claro, sí, eh, Henry Martín es un jugador importante para ellos, eh, creo que es un jugador que le da mucho en ataque, eh, trabaja mucho, eh, entonces creo que para nosotros es bueno, eh, no es bueno alegrarse de, de, de un... Eh, colega eh, por una lesión pero creo que futbolísticamente creo que a nosotros nos viene bien más allá de que tienen jugadores como Quiñones que pueden eh, tratar de, de llenar esa baja eh, entonces creo que sale un jugador bueno entra otro bueno entonces eso es lo que tiene América un club grande que tiene tiene jugadores de donde escoger entonces nosotros tenemos que estar muy muy concentrados para para tratar de contrarrestar su, sus cualidades ben, go ahead. Yeah, for both of you guys, I mean, you, you played Toluca um, last week. You, you've played Club America last year. I'm curious from your perspective, what are maybe some of the tactical and technical differences when you're playing against a, a Liga MX team um, as opposed to a, a regular MLS match? Yeah, I think one of the most important things, um, something that we have um, had our difficulties with with some of the Mexican sides is that we have to really keep our lines compact. Uh, just whether it's Toluca or America, they've been able to play like through our lines and get us really condensed and then able to, once they sort of penetrate through our lines, we turn around and it just creates a whole lot of issues. If we're able to stay compact, I think that um, we've been very, very good. And especially that just speaks to sort of our defensive record for quite some time now is that we've been able to hold a lot of MLS teams to very few goals, but there's been a, occasional times where we've played against some of the other Mexican teams and we've conceded more goals than we would have liked. And so being able to sort of go back, look over the video and see exactly what we can get better. Um, I know we've prepared a lot for America and we're going to be up for the task. Yeah, I think... Uh we need to stay very compact, like Jack, like what Jack say. Uh, when you play against mm, that team, when they have so many quality players, they like to play through, they like to play short pass. Uh, we need to stay very compact team, and also uh, like the chance we we create, the chance we have, we need to to try to finish well because when they have uh, one chance, they 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 score. You know, this is the big difference. 
uh, when when they have like quality players, but when in one in five seconds uh, they change the game, you know. This is why we need to stay like really compact in defense and, and the chance when, when we have chance to try to finish well. You, you just talked about quality players. Um, it, obviously, Liga MX has a lot of depth and a lot of really, really high end, especially attacking players. What's that like preparing for that? I think that we have a lot of quality players, likewise in uh, the MLS, but it's a whole other ball game. And it's just preparing for players that have di different tendencies that you're really not used to say seeing day in and day out. Um, I want to think back to the Toluca game. I, their outside backs were incredible dribblers of the ball. They were able to sort of break us down numerically by dribbling past whether it was a wing or something like that. And that sort of creates this big domino effect that does end up trickling down to the back line and other areas. So being very disciplined, being very compact, um, and just realizing that it's not just a 1v1 game out there. We got 11 guys, and we're going to do our best to um, withstand any press that they have, and hopefully they do end up coming a bit higher up the field, and then we get the ball to guys like Godoy, guys like uh, Hani, and in transition we've been so dangerous, so that sort of plays into our strengths as well, though. Algo más que dar. Sí. 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 Sí.